And now it's time for the Minute of Silence. Will you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just on your wrap in the ocean the change in the weather I was praying that you and me might end up together It's like wishing for rain as I... Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. Welcome to Twain TV. I'm Lauren. And I'm Erica. Today is Monday, October 21st, 2013. Now here's what's happening in your world. Today, Twain welcomes back Assistant Principal Mr. Calso. He returns to Twain after a long illness, and the entire school community is thrilled to welcome him home. Mr. Calso will be the 7th grade administrator this year, so be sure to say hello if you see him around the halls. Tomorrow is the last day to register for the Credit for World Languages exam. If your first language is not English, then this test may be for you. The exam requires a student to read and comprehend instructions and writing prompts in your first language. There are 23 different languages the exam is offered in. If you are interested, be sure to head down to Student Services for more details. Mark your calendars for Saturday, November 2nd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That will be the annual Edison High School Craft Fair, a variety of local artisans <coughs> and crafters will be represented. It's the perfect time to shop for some handmade gifts. For more information, search Edison High School Craft Fair on Facebook. Service learning is due in less than a week. Are you ready? There's a lot of head shaking out there. Don't forget, you need to your five hours completed, your interview organizer and summary, along with your two reflection questions. Also, there are some opportunities for you. Tomorrow, you can volunteer at Sunrise Assisted Living Center, playing bridge with the residents from 6.30 to 8 p.m. See the email on the screen in order to register. Also, this Saturday is the annual Volunteer Fest. Check out volunteerfairfox.org to find some good opportunities for second quarter. Today is the Chipotle fundraiser for the Twain Band. We hope you're hungry, well, later today, from 5 to 8 p.m. Head to the Chipotle in Kingstown and tell the cashier you're with Twain, and they will donate 50% of their profits back to Twain. So you eat, and the band makes money. It's a win for everyone. Okay, here's Victoria with the weather. This is Weather for the Week. Hello, I'm your weather girl, Victoria, with your weather for the week. As you can see, right now it is 45 degrees and clear. And now to our five-day forecast. Today, it will be a high of 68 degrees and sunny. And tomorrow will be a high of 66 degrees and mostly sunny. The rest of the week will be somewhat colder, with Wednesday having a high of 56 degrees, and Thursday a high of 55, and Friday a high of 54, all being partly cloudy. I am Victoria with your weather for the week. Now here's today's lunch menu. Soft taco on flatbread, spicy chicken on bun. Choice of two, baked fries, refried beans, celery sticks with cherry tomato garnish, and choice of fruit. Chilled pineapple with cherry garnish or orange quarters with kiwi. 
Also, attention all 8th grade AVID students attending college night. See Miss Miller before the end of the school day today. Also, 8th grade teachers should bring their classes down to the cafeteria at 9.15 today for the assembly. Thanks to all who, who requested this morning's song. Well, that's all we have for you today from the studio. I'm Lauren. And I'm Erica. Stay tuned for the Administrator's Corner after these messages. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Twain TV and check out YouTube.com slash Twain MS News to watch other news crew productions. Have, Have a, a marvelous, marvelous Monday, Monday Twain. Twain. Oh my gosh, it's decision day. How, am I, how are we, how are we going to decide? Look at all these. Miss Soto, look at all these covers. Wow, the kids really did a good job turning all these in, didn't they? Yes, they did. I like this one and this one and this one. I don't know how to pick. How are we going to choose? Look at them all. There's more over here. Wowzers. Oh, boy. Well, we got to break it down. We got to get down to one. <coughs> That's going to be the hard part. This is the winning entry for this year's submission contest for the yearbook. We'd like to congratulate Alyssa Ogurk, Caitlin Taylor. They are the winners, and they will receive a free yearbook for their efforts. We'd also like to congratulate the back cover winner, Desi Vereen. You'll be getting a gift card for your efforts. And we'd finally like to congratulate Taylor Hun and Matthew Carrillo, who, de who uh, designed the lettering here. We're going to be using that on the cover. And you guys will also be getting gift cards to Chipotle. Bring it. Make sure you are ordering your yearbook so you can save $5 for your parents. And maybe you could win a gift card, too. Which one's the camera? Is this one the camera? Yeah. Okay. You're starting. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. Buses 19 and 96 were late this morning. Today, as you can see to my left, we have a special guest. I'll let him introduce himself. Why don't you go ahead, Neil? All right. Hey, Mark Twain Middle School, and I guess welcome back for myself. Uh, for the seventh graders, you do not know who I am yet, but I am the seventh grade administrator. Eighth graders, I know it's been a little while since spring break to be exact since you've seen me, but I am back and I am healthy. So I thank everyone that's been supporting me for that. And uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing about all of your awesome adventures from the summer during the school year. I also want to make one announcement. I've heard some of us are having a hard time getting to class on time. Remember the tiger roar is not the sign just to run to class. We should be in class by that time. Early is on time, on time is late, and late is unacceptable. Let's have this song on, being played on Friday so we don't, um, so we can have some fun. Have a great day, Twain. Thank you, Mr. Casso. You guys, we'll see you later today. All of you better be in class. All right. <laughs>